Today, we're going to show you how to convert your steering. The tools you'll need for this will be needle nose pliers, a Phillips screwdriver, and a 2.5mm Allen wrench. The parts you're going to need is a standard size servo, servo mount plate, steering linkage rod, Y harness, round headed screws, and countersunk head screws. The first step you're going to do is bolt down the servo plate to the mount located on the rear axle. Take your 2.5mm Allen wrench with your countersunk screws and bolt it down. If you don't want to use a hand Allen wrench, you can use a drill, just as long as you have a 2.5mm Allen in the drill. Next, you're going to remove the adjustable link. When removing this, you're going to notice that there are two different size screws. One is longer than the other. Take the shorter one, place it through the steering arm and the Connor linkage, and bolt it back together. Next, you're going to remove the cap head screw from the right steering arm. Grab the longer screw, place it through the steering linkage rod, steering arm, and the Connor linkage, and bolt it back together. Next, you're going to take the servo and bolt it to your servo plate by using the round headed screws. What I like to do is wind up my servo wires by using any size tubing to give it a cleaner look. But you don't have to do this. Next, you're going to connect your Y harness to your front servo by lining up the colors. Black with black, white with white, red with red. In this case, brown with black, red with red, orange with white. Take the end of the Y harness that looks like the end of the servo. Place it into channel 1 on the receiver. Next, you're going to take your rear servo wires and connect it to your Y harness. Lining up the colors. What you're going to have to do next is center out your servos. You can do this by taking your ST trim and have both arrows pointing at each other. Next, you're going to place your servo arm on your servo and bolt it up at the 12 o'clock position. Next, you're going to take your wheels and try to center them up as best as you can. Take your steering linkage rod, make your adjustments so that it lines up with the holes on the servo arm and go ahead and screw it in. At this time, you have just completed making the four wheel steering. Stay tuned for more tutorials at nitrorcx.com.